Get a view essay is preparing for Trump's summit with North Korea's Kim Jong-un. A U.S. official said preparations are underway in setting up the summit with North Korea but admitted a time and place is yet to be set. The summit will be a major milestone in U.S. foreign policy with Donald Trump expected to come face to face with Kim Jong-un, and Donald Trump and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe will focus focus heavily on the challenge posed by North Korea's nuclear arms program when they meet next week in Florida, a senior Trump administration official said on Friday. The Trump Habe summit at Trump's Mar-a-Lago retreat in Palm Beach comes as U.S. officials are working to set up a summit between Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un in late May or early June. Communications will by definition have to be sufficient for us to establish and prepare a successful summit. Preparations are underway U.S. official A U.S. official said. Communications will by definition have to be sufficient for us to establish and prepare a successful summit. Preparations are underway. Despite no time or a place set for the Trump-Kim summit, the U.S. president has previously said he plans to meet the North Korean dictator in May or early June. Mr. Trump said he hopes the discussions will ultimately lead to an end of North Korea's nuclear weapons program, which Washington sees as its most pressing security threat. The U.S. president said the U.S. would approach the talks respectfully as he stressed meetings are being set up between him and Kim. Mr. Trump thanked China for its help in trying to resolve the crisis over North Korea's development of nuclear weapons capable of hitting the United States. He said, they've been really terrific at helping us get to some kind of settlement. Meetings are being set up right now between myself and Kim Jong-un. I think it will be terrific. I think we'll go in with a lot of respect and we'll see what happens. CIA Director Mike Pompeo said North Korea should not expect rewards from talks with the U.S. until Pyongyang takes irreversible steps to give up its nuclear weapons. Mr. Pompeo, the president's nominee for Secretary of State, said the historical analysis was not optimistic. When asked at his Senate confirmation hearing if he believed North Korea would agree to dismantle its nuclear program, he said that in past negotiations the U.S. and the world had relaxed sanctions too quickly. Bloomberg at an old Trump has suggested the summit could take place in May. Mr. Pompeo said, it is the intention of the president and the administration not to do that this time to make sure that underscore before we provide rewards, we get the outcome permanently, irreversibly, that it is that we hope to achieve. It is a tall order. But I am hopeful that President Trump can achieve that through sound diplomacy. He said he was optimistic a course could be set at the Trump-Kim summit for a diplomatic outcome with North Korea, but added that no one was under any illusion that a comprehensive deal could be reached at that meeting. And Mr. Pompeo stressed the aim of a Trump-Kim summit was to get North Korea to step away. Under questioning, he would not take any option off the table, including military ones. At the same time, Pompeo said he was not advocating regime change for North Korea and had never done so. Last year, North Korea accused Mr. Pompeo of favoring such a policy after he told a forum in July it was important to separate the country's nuclear weapons from the character who holds the control over them. In May, North Korea accused the CIA and South Korea's intelligence service of a failed plot to assassinate Kim at a military parade in Pyongyang. At a separate congressional hearing, Defense Secretary Jim Mattis said the aim was for a negotiated solution to the North Korean crisis. He said, we're all cautiously optimistic that we may be on the right path for the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula.